all the costs to develop the space pen were incurred by my father and his company, 100% uh, owned by him. Uh, there was no government funding involved, no, no government grants, no request even to develop it from the government. Uh, a private concept he developed on his own. The key to uh, the space pen is that it's sealed and pressurized, so it doesn't depend on gravity to provide the flow of ink to the point because the pressure is coming from inside the cartridge. The other challenge is that when you pressurize it, it wants to run out the point. So you have to have a very thick, viscoelastic, thixotropic ink to make it work. Not, not an easy trick. Uh, my father had been working on pressurizing a pen for about 10 years. Uh, the fact that the astronauts were going to use it didn't come up till a little later. But once he got one that actually worked, uh, he started con trying to contact NASA, he got in the congressional record, did all that song and dance and couldn't find the right guy at NASA until NASA, through the industry, made inquiries and found him. It took about, from the time he actually had a, a, the first AG-7, it took about three years before NASA approved it for flying. Running through the factory as a young child, I had no idea of the magnitude of my grandfather's invention. Uh, and to come here to Kennedy Space Center, beautiful organization, uh, working alongside them for a few years to build this beautiful display is a great honor. I think my favorite, absolute favorite thing of the display is this huge 10-foot pen hanging, hanging uh, above me. Uh, I remember running through the factory as a child, seeing it three times as tall as me, and now it's about uh, three times higher than me, hanging upside down, writing upside down as the uh, astronauts did in space. Uh, as you know, the, they needed a reliable writing instrument. Uh, wouldn't use a pencil, uh, very dangerous to ask the astronauts to do that. So my grandfather really believed that he could develop something that they could rely on. And 1966, he patented the first pressurized ballpoint space pen that's been used on all manned space flights since Apollo 7.